Hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar today, How to Write a Winning MBA uh, Goals Essay. Uh, my name is Nelly, and I'll be the moderator on behalf of the Prep Advisor team. And I'm here with our speaker, Ellen Lollis, who is a leading MBA uh, consultant and the founder uh, and president of Ellen Lollis Consulting. Uh, before giving the word to her, I want to um, ask you to use the chat box to ask questions anytime during this session. All questions are welcome, so don't hesitate. So I'm giving the word to you, Ellen. Perfect. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you again, everyone, um, for joining today. So uh, we're going to be doing kind of a mini webinar today to go through um, some quick tips of how to write a goals essay. Um, for those of you who are starting your application process now and have started to kind of look through the questions, what are they going to ask me, what's required, you've probably noticed that goals essays come up a lot. So we're going to be talking about what kind of goals should you define and how to go about that process, um, how to structure your goals essay, um, and then also just some tips and tricks to make sure that you have really effective essays that get you interviews. Um, as mentioned, please use the chat. I'll be dedicating some time at the end to answer your questions. Um, so don't be shy. Also, if you want to let us know um, where you're joining us from, it's always really interesting uh, to, to have that information um, as well. So uh, let's get started. So I will share my screen. Okay. Um, somebody pipe up if you can't see it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll assume that you can. <laughs> Um, so the first thing that we want to look at is how to define appropriate goals. So when looking at a goals essay, um, you know, of course, the way that you express the information is really important, but what you express needs to be well thought out in advance. So I always like to start a goals essay with a discussion of how should you define your goals? What makes a good goal for an MBA application? Um, so looking into goals, there are a couple of different things that you want to consider. Um, the first thing is don't skip building your personal brand. So when you're looking at your MBA application, you want to have an application that functions as a whole. You don't want um, goals that are disconnected from your background. You don't want goals that are disconnected from everything else in your brand. You want to have something that's very consistent so that all touch points of your application are telling the same message. Um, so a lot of times what I suggest that clients do is go through a personal brand exercise. Um, I will share with you guys later um, a resource center that we have that has a really extensive personal brand exercise that you can go through if you're not really sure how to develop a personal brand. Um, but I do think it's really important to think about, you know, who am I and how am I presenting myself to the application to the admissions committee? So, for example, um, if your whole life has been about innovation, um, you want to make sure that your goals speak in some way to innovation as well. If healthcare is really what drives you, um, maybe you had a, an illness yourself that you overcame or that really shaped your life. Um, then you started out in the healthcare industry and now you want to start your own health tech company. Um, you want to have goals that are really consistent with that message. Um, if you have, for example, built your whole career in sustainability, you've been really involved with the environment and, thing, and themes around sustainability, um, and then your goals are completely disconnected from that, you say, oh gosh, I don't know, that you want to build a, um, let's say a marketing company <laughs> that has nothing to do with sustainability or the environment or ESG, um, it could be a little bit concerning because we'd say, hmm, your whole life has been about one thing and now your goals are about something completely different. I just don't see the connection. Um, so that's why you, your goals are not going to exist in a vacuum. You really want to think about your, your overall profile as a whole. Um, so moving on to the next point, when thinking about your goals, your short-term and your long-term goals are critical. Um, you don't want to just think about your short-term and you don't want to just think about your long-term. You really want to have both. Um, most most schools that ask you for your goals are going to ask you for both. Some may ask you about your medium term goals as well. So you can also give that a little bit of thought. Um, just to clarify, your short term goal is not attending the MBA. It's what you're planning to do exactly when you graduate. So upon graduation, the job that I will have is X. 
Um, and then the long term is a little more open ended. It can be five years after that. It can be 10 years after that. It can be kind of the ultimate goal that you want to have. Maybe you want to become the CEO of your organization someday um, or take over the family business. So um, that's something that, you know, you also want to keep in mind um, that your long term goal can be a little bit more fluid in terms of timeline. But your long term goal and your short term goal need to have a clear connection. Um, if your short term goal is to um, start a private equity fund um, focused on healthcare, and then your long term goal is to create a marketing company for consumer goods companies, I would say kind of, well, why? <laughs> why, do, why are you doing both of those? How does your short term help you reach your long term? Why are you doing both of those things? Um, you really don't want to have two goals that are at odds with each other, whereas you know, short term, right after the MBA, I want to return to McKinsey, um, start to specialize in um, maybe mining um, and long term become a leading partner in the mining practice. Or then I want to become a CEO in a major mining company um, and help drive, um, you know, more innovative, sustainable practices. You can really see how the short term is setting you up for success in the long term. Um, you also want to make sure that your goals are a mix of ambitious and realistic. So we want goals that show that you see progress in your future. We don't want to see that you just want to do the same thing that you're doing now. That's not interesting. Um, that doesn't show really a need for an MBA or growth. Um, but they also need to be realistic. Um, if you say, you know, post MBA, I want to be the global CEO of Google. That would be great. That would be fantastic. We love your enthusiasm, but that's just not really a realistic goal. <laughs> so it might seem like maybe you haven't thought much about the MBA and, and your goals. Um, it might maybe seem a bit immature potentially. So you really want to make sure that your goals are also realistic um, and realistic in the sense of goals that an MBA can help you reach. So if your goal is to, you know, oh, I want to be the president of the United States right after graduating my MBA. Well, you know, not many 29 year olds become the president um, and, you know, an MBA is more of a business degree rather than to go into politics. So you really want to think about um, realistic goals to make sure that they're aligned with how an MBA can help you reach those goals. Um, also, a question that I get is, well, I'm not sure about my goals. Can't I just leave them vague and say that I want to figure out what they are in the MBA? No. Um, in general, vague goals mean that you're not going to get an interview. Um, so you need to be specific. Um, you know, even if they say, well, you don't have to have them exactly, you know, decided you generally want to have as specific as possible. You want to have a very specific direction that you want to go in. The only school that's really okay with something a tiny bit more vague is Stanford. Everyone else is good to be really specific. Um, saying things like, I want to figure out what I want to do in the MBA, or I think I want to do something like this, but maybe something like that, or maybe something around this, it's just not going to cut it. Um, they're looking at your goals to see how you're going to take advantage of the program and also where you're going to recruit. So it's very clear that they can connect the dots. So you want to be specific. Um, so here's a little bit of an example of a goal statement and kind of something that is vague and something that is more specific that works better. So a vague kind of goal statement is short term. I want to work in a startup focused on providing accessible housing opportunities. You know, that's OK. It's a little bit incomplete. It's it's not it's OK, but it's not great. Um, at least it's specific in the sense of, you know, showing that you want to work at a startup and, and what they focus on. Um, a better, more specific version of that would be, you know, in the short term, I want to work in a startup with demonstrated impact on housing equality in my region, utilizing my strong negotiation skills to attract long term angel investors who can ensure that our social impact can grow healthily. That's going to be a much more interesting goal. It says a lot more about what you want to do, why, what's driving you, um, and gives us just a lot more sense of your overall plan for your career. So it's going to work a lot better. Um, moving on to our next point, the basic structure of a goals essay. So once you've defined what your goals are, um, it comes down to how do I actually put the essay together? So when it says, you know, what are your goals and how will XYZ MBA help you reach them? Um, this is how you want to approach that. Um, so the winning formula here is past, 
present, future. Um, so the first thing that you want to um, think about is the past. Um, so when we talk about the past, you want to always ground your goals in some sort of context. So I suggest rather than starting your MBA with my goal is X, share a story with us, share some sort of context that's related to that goal so that when you actually get to the goal, we've seen that you've done something relevant um, related to your goals and you have clear motivations and some sort of track record um, related to those goals. That's going to help us see that those goals are realistic. You, you have kind of the know-how needed to make them work. Um, and it's going to make us say, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, that, that all checks out. Um, sometimes you'll have space for multiple stories. Sometimes you'll only have space for one. Um, so you want to think about, you know, if you only have space for one, choose the story that most relates to your goals, that most gives that context um, for what you want to do. Um, a lot of times that should be a professional experience, but every once in a while it can be um, a personal experience if that is the thing that you feel best grounds your decision um, to pursue uh, that career path. Then you want to think about the present. So your present is essentially kind of what are you doing <laughs> uh, with your goals? Um, I know it, it's, it's a little bit future as well, but we can think of it as the present in the sense of, you know, this is my present objective. So that's where you want to say, you know, that's why in the short term, my goal is to do X. And in the long term, my goal is to do Y. Um, you want to make sure that it's very clear. You want to make sure that you say what the short term is, what the long term is. You want to say the industry that you want to go into and the position that you'd like to have. So um, I want to be a leader in tech. That's just not really going to cut it. You know, I want to have a project management role at a features driven tech company. That's going to be much better, um, even better if you can say such as Canva or, or something like that. Um, so you want to be very specific there and also include why this is something that you want to do. So why are these goals important to you? Then you want to talk about the future. So how can this MBA program, which will be kind of your next step in the future, how can they help you reach these goals? Um, so here you want to be very deliberate and also very thoughtful in mentioning how the program um, will help you build the skills that you need to obtain this type of job. So I suggest thinking about three, maybe four areas that you'd like to work in. Uh, work on during the MBA and connecting them to the school's offerings. So for example, um, I need to improve my leadership skills because in order to reach these goals, you know, blah, 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 uh, I'm going to need to lead larger and larger teams in complex negotiations or something like that. Um, London Business School is perfect because they offer this leadership course or this leadership training program, um, and that will perfectly prepare me to reach the goal. Or, um, you know, I want to create my own health tech startup. So um, I want to take advantage of the healthcare major at Wharton, as well as the classes from the entrepreneurship uh, major um, in order to prepare me um, for those goals. So you want to make sure that for each of the reasons that you give, each of those kind of pillars of the program that you want to take advantage of, that you say why you need to work on that to reach your goals and how specifically the program can help meet those needs. So courses, um, initiatives that they have, clubs that you can get involved in, um, study initiatives like tracks, um, field at Harvard, things like that um, are all good things to, to use here. You don't want to just list a bunch of classes. <laughs> um, they're not going to admit you because you know how to Google. <laughs> So you do want to make sure that you're thoughtful um, and you do want to include specifics, but one or two things in each of those categories and showing how and why that's going to help meet those needs is much better than 10 classes uh, on healthcare um, within their curriculum. And then finally, um, our key do's and don'ts. These are things that you want to keep in mind while writing your essay. Um, the first thing is really make sure that your why and your passions are clear. So we don't want to just say, this is my goal. We want to say, this is my goal. 
and I want to do this because I want to make this impact or, you know, I've seen this problem and I want to be part of the solution or, you know, 59% of people in my country are food insecure. And I have this agricultural background combined with um, tech skills and innovation skills that allow me to create an ag tech company that will help solve hunger. Um, that's something that really gets us excited about your goals and really makes you come alive on paper. Um, boring goals, uh, while specific, which is good, um, just don't really speak to an admissions committee and don't make your profile stand out. Um, you also want to be sincere, but also be strategic. So you don't want to say what you think the admissions committee wants to hear. Um, that's never a great plan because it comes across as insincere, it comes across as inauthentic. Um, a lot of times it doesn't really connect well with your background. And when if you do get to interview, you can't justify it very well. It falls apart. But you want to be strategic, right? If you are not really sure 100 percent if this is the goal that you want to pursue, you know, don't write an essay about your um your difficulty making a 100% decision, write about your plan um, and stick with that for now, knowing in your head that maybe things change and they know that plans can change, but you don't need to share everything. Be strategic with the information that you do share. Um, number three, do your research. You wanna make sure that you're always looking into the school's programs. You wanna make sure that you have um, done your homework to be able to show how the program is gonna meet your needs. Um, just saying something like, oh, Stanford is a top ranked school. Um, and so it's the best place for me to um, prepare to reach these goals. That's not going to cut it. Um, or I really like the culture in California. That's not going to cut it. Um, saying, you know, I really like the community there. That's also not really going to cut it. Why? Why do you like the community? What about it? Have you talked to people in the community? How do you plan to get involved in the community? How can you contribute to that community? Um, doing that research and being specific is going to make a much more compelling argument. And then finally, proofread. Um, this should go without saying, <laughs> um, but I always like to mention it, you know, go back, um, check your essay, you know, ideally get some feedback on it. Um, it's always great to see if other people find your argument compelling, but also can follow it and say, yeah, this makes sense. I think this is believable. Um, I don't see any holes in it. Um, so it's great to also go back and just make sure it's error free. Um, so I always recommend giving yourself enough time and you guys are here really early. So that's great. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you're not applying something in a week, <laughs> uh, but uh, go back and make sure that you give yourself plenty of time to to proofread and to look through um, the content that you've developed. Um, so those are our key tips, of course. Um, you know, we're going to go now into questions and answers, but I do want to mention um, our resource center um, and I will post the link in the chat as well. Um, we have that personal brand exercise that I mentioned. We also have an exercise to help you define your goals, what you want to get out of the MBA program in a very structured way. Um, there's also a lot of goals essays there that have gotten candidates into all sorts of schools around the world that you can use as inspiration. There's brainstorm exercise for each is brainstorm exercises for individual schools. Um, so a lot of people find that it's very helpful to give them a good starting point to write um, their essays. So if that's something that might be interesting for you guys, there's the code that you can scan to um, check it out. Um, and then now let's go back to um, question and answer. Um, so I will uh, post that link there. <laughs> um, Thank you very much, Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad to see um, everyone here. So, uh, wow, joining us from Malaysia, Mozambique, India. Uh, that's awesome. I always am excited to see people from all over. <laughs> so um, thank you guys again for joining. Um, so let's see, we have a question here about how to connect short-term and long-term goals. Um, so I would say the best way to do that is to really think about what in your short-term goals prepares you to be more successful in your long-term goals. So for example, if you want to be uh, an entrepreneur um, and you want to maybe start an agricultural tech company, um, but you feel like you don't have enough tech experience. Maybe you've worked a lot with agriculture, but you're lacking a little bit of tech know-how. Saying like, 
I want to be a project manager in a tech company in order to gain that tech experience that could work really well. Um, and showing how that's directly related to being successful in your long-term goals. Um, you know, in consulting, if you want to potentially uh, become a partner someday, talking about coming back to the consulting firm, starting to specialize, starting to lead a team so that you can start, you can take on that very visible leadership role in the future. Um, that's also something that would make um, a lot of sense. Um, so you really want to make sure to focus in on specific characteristics of the short term that would be gaps in the long term and how the short term goal can help fill those gaps. Um, tips on how to talk about your present field of study. I'm not sure I 100% understand the question. Um, so I'm going to give it a shot. If I don't answer <laughs> exactly as, as you intended, let me know. Um, so I think you mean in terms of um, maybe if you, like what you're planning to study in the MBA, potentially. Um, so in terms of what to talk about in terms of in the MBA and choosing your field of study there, um, I would mention being specific. So adding a few aspects of the program that you think are interesting. So maybe some key courses that, that get your attention um, and why those are things that you want to study, how they're going to help you build skills that you need to reach your goals. Um, also potentially professors that you're interested in studying under, why you like the approach that they have or research that they're doing. Um, and also any initiatives that potentially you can get involved in as well. So a lot of schools have, um, you know, learning uh, action learning labs like MIT is really famous for that. Um, Ross has the MAP project. So if there's any um, also action learning uh, opportunities that are also related to the field of study that you want to pursue, that would also be something that would be great to mention, always within the context of how this is going to help you reach your goals. Um, it's important to remember that in an MBA, everything is career based. <laughs> so studying it because you find it interesting, while that is something that definitely you can do during the program, um, the goals essay is not a great place to talk about that. You want to show that it has strategic value um, to reach your career goals. Um, the character limits is very limited. Yeah. <laughs> um, how to optimize the text. I would say when you write your first draft, don't worry about the word count, worry about getting all of the ideas out, make sure that the connections are really solid, make sure that you're telling everything in the optimal way, um, and then go back and start to edit yourself. Because a lot of people worry about the word count first, and then the essay is kind of a mess. Um, the connections are weak, or the stories aren't told in a very good way, or um, you know they don't really go into the right level of information about their goals. Um, so I'd say, first of all, of course, within reason, if it's 200 words, don't write 2000, <laughs> um, unless it's helpful for you, but um, write a little bit extra and then go back and start to pare it down. So if you've mentioned three classes um, for the healthcare major, maybe mention one, maybe choose the shortest one. So if one is 10 words and one is three words, maybe pick the class that's three words. Um, you know, for your goals, um, try to think if there's any ways that you can reword them to be more direct. Um, for your story, um, if you're choosing two stories, um, maybe just choose one. Or if you've chosen a story that's very convoluted and very difficult to understand, so it requires a lot of backstory and explanation, maybe choose a story that's more straightforward and simpler. Um, and then, of course, you know, you can always seek out help. Um, you know, for example, our editing team, we have done thousands of these. So it's very easy for us to go in and say, ah, you can reword it like this, you can reword it like that. So sometimes it can also be helpful um, just to get some expert help um, if you really, really get stuck. Um, so I don't know, Sheila, if I answered your question well, I'm not sure if I did. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure if there's any other questions or um Thank you, Eileen. Um, let's give uh, one more minute to everyone here if they st still have um, any more questions. And yeah, thank you for this wonderful presentation, um, being both useful and so much on the point. Um, I saw that you shared uh, these uh, wonderful resources in the chat. Uh, for everyone, you can now click on the link or afterwards we're going to follow up with email, again, sharing some useful resources for you. Yes. Um, yeah, I don't see any more questions coming in, in the chat. 
Um, so any final words? <laughs> Definitely plan ahead. I mean, like Ahmed said, um, there's a lot of kind of tweaking when it comes to word count and how can I fit everything in. So if you try to do it a couple days in advance, um, it can be really hard to strike a good balance of telling your story well, but telling it in the right word count. So give yourself plenty of time. Um, getting some feedback can also be great. Um, I think that that's something that's really, really helpful to do as well. Um, and definitely, you know, give yourself some time to think about your goals. I think that the MBA application process is a fantastic thing that everyone should go through in their mid to late 20s just to think about what they want to do with their life, what they want to do with their career, what they're passionate about. Um, so really utilize this opportunity to think about the path that you're on, the path that you want to be on, um, the impact that you want to make in the world. So really, I think, again, give yourself time so that you can utilize this experience to have that reflection, talk to people, do research. Um, so that would be something as well that I would invite people to, to use this process for. Thank you very much. And thank you everyone for joining us. We wish you best of luck. Bye-bye yes. everyone. Bye. Thanks for having me. <laughs>